Hi there, I'm Daniel Seberg in the Google TV booth, and I am enthusiastically talking with Brandon and Jordan. Brandon, tell us who you are and what Thuz is all about. All right, uh, I'm a software engineer with Thuz, and uh, Thuz is a sports application, and it's all about finding an exciting game to watch. Because in today's uh, TV land, there's just tons of games to watch at any particular time. Um, so we try to make it easy for a, a user to find the most exciting games. Cool, so Jordan, you're going to help us out, yep. right, by kind of driving the, the, the action here. I can do that. Uh, so give us sort of a run through, Brandon, of what we're seeing as Jordan's controlling things. Sure, so um, Thuz is uh, enabling discovery of exciting games. This is our home screen for the Google TV app. Uh, it's currently showing that my personalized sports, there's two live games going on right now. So we're going to go ahead and jump into here. This is personalized to my favorite sports and my favorite teams. Um, you can see here in the middle, we have the two live games going on right now, the Dodgers and the Giants. Uh, you can see earlier today, uh, games off to the left with uh, more exciting games what are those uh, ranked to the top. To? Those are our um, excitement ratings that we uh, come up with based on an uh, algorithm that uh, computes several factors based on like pace of the game, novelty of the plays, uh, rivalry of the teams, uh, big comebacks, things like that. Um, hundreds of factors go into making a number between zero and 100. 100 being like the best game ever. Uh, so, I mean, if you can imagine the Giants' uh, perfect game a, a week, two ago, uh, that was 100 on our due scale. Okay. Uh, so, uh, here we have the Giants game. Let's just go ahead and uh, go into here and see what we got. Uh, this is 3-0 uh, Dodgers. Uh, this is our excitement graph throughout the different innings of the game. Uh, we try to um, propagate uh, where you can actually watch the game. So uh, we're working closely with Dish, uh, Dish Network, and so we can actually tune into this game right now, or we can actually choose to record this game to our DVR. So for rights purposes, we don't want to get in trouble, but we're, so we're not showing any of that stuff, but of course you can have the game on while you're doing all of this stuff and mm -hmm. see it at the same time. Correct, right? correct. And we try to make it really easy, just one click, switch to the channel. Um, we also give you summary and stats and uh, online resources where you can actually catch uh, highlights, uh, condensed uh, video, things like that. Now I see the friends tab up at the top. What's that all about? Uh, so we've recently added some social features. So um, we call, instead of commenting on a game or sharing a game, we call it thusing a game. Okay. So, uh, you know, Google's a verb. We're trying to make thuse a verb. Sure. So uh, you so can you see a here. Number of thuses? Yeah, so, so here we got a couple of people have uh, thused uh, this particular game already today. and. Uh, that's basically what uh, the Friends is all about, uh, going out and finding your friends and so you could follow them and you guys can have conversations about, about exciting games. Cool. Let's hop over to the DVR here. Uh, yeah, let's uh, actually hop over to the DVR. Okay. So uh, one uh, exciting feature we worked on really hard, specifically for Google I.O., is uh, integrating with the Dish Box. So um, what we're doing here is we're, we're making automated rules based on your personal preferences. Maybe it's your favorite team, Maybe it's a favorite sports league that you like, but we'll automatically go out and record the game to your DVR for you. The app will. Uh, all you have to do is set up a rule. So you can see here, we're really into Euro soccer right now, so we have a rule set up to record uh, all the European games. Uh, we're really Giants fans, so we've set a high priority that we're going to go ahead and record every single Giants game. Or you can use our, uh, our algorithm to say, hey, when some other game I might not be or know about gets it really exciting, go ahead and record it to my DVR for me. It's very cool. So it's almost, it's almost thinking for you in a sense. It's taking all the hassle out of figuring out which games are on, which ones might I like, all that stuff. It's yeah. happening at the same time. Yeah, so it's all about discovering games that maybe you might not have known about. Uh, just real quick, any sort of advice for developers out there looking at Google TV as a platform, things you've learned, lessons you want to pass along? For sure. Um, I mean, there's definitely the mindset of, of the 10-foot UI. It's a bigger screen. Your users are going to be sitting further away from it. So, um, you know, you got to leverage uh, the layouts to, to handle that. There's uh, integration with uh, the uh, tuners with different, uh, you know, what, whatever your cable box is, a TiVo, a Dish, a DirecTV. Um, being able to change the channel right then and there is, uh, is pretty cool. Um, integrating with DVR to automatically uh, record things is... Right. Well, this is awesome stuff, and cool. I'm a big hockey fan, so I'm excited for oh, when, yeah. of course, Me the too. NHL gets back in action. Yeah. But guys, thank you so much. Brandon Jordan, we appreciate this uh, little tour of uh, Thuz. Thank you so All much. All right, thanks, guys. All right. All right, we're going to move on here.
You know, I am a huge poker fan, and I hear that there's an awesome Zynga poker game. And here we are with Zynga to talk about it. What a coincidence. And I'm joined by Jen and Andrew. Yep. So Jen, tell me what Zynga Poker is all about, and I notice you've got multiple devices here as well. Yep, so Zynga Poker is Zynga's first game. It was created back in 2007. It was first created on the PC, and we've since launched the game on mobile across multiple platforms. So we started on Android mobile phones, and then moved to tablets, and most recently we've moved to Google TV. So it's pretty exciting for us to support all of these great and Android devices. Um, and with Google TV, one of the things uh, that we can do is we can play in a five or nine person tournament at a table, and Andrew is going to give you a demo of, of how that works. Okay. So let's check that Andrew, out. Andrew, go for it. Card shark. Well, I'm on the main game table right now, and I think in a moment you're going to see how we've been able to optimize our layout for the various Android devices and platforms that are currently on offer. Um, Right now we're looking at the Google TV version, which we've developed for the TV DPI density, um, which coincidentally is exceptionally close to the new 7-inch Nexus 7 gorgeous. density. So, yeah. um, so it's a direct port of our Nexus 7 version. Um, I can log in with my, with my Zynga Poker account all my chips are there across platforms. All my friends are there. Um, I'm losing pretty badly right now. Uh, most of my stacks <laughs> it's are already gone. It's hard to talk <laughs> and play at the <laughs> yeah. same time and hold the I, microphone. Yeah, I, I, I made a bit of a rookie error whilst I was sort of navigating the microphone. That's all right. <laughs> so you folded with those pair of aces. That's all right. Um, so, but Jen, you've got a, a Nexus 7 in your hand, right? Yeah. Right? So just to, to talk about this a little bit, um, one of the things that as we build our games for the Android platform, we use a multi-APK so that we can support all of these different formats um, with a single SKU. And all of that, as you know, we can distribute our game, our same game for the tablet and for the phone and for Google TV within Google Play. So it's great as a publisher to be able to, to do that in one place. So Can you show us the experience on here too? I can. Yeah, so, so what we're going to do, um, I've got the tablet here, and one of the things that we've done, what's really important for us, for Zynga as a company, is that playing Zynga games is a social experience. So you want to be able to play with your friends and your family, no matter where they are. But what's really cool, on the Android phone and tablet now, we've been able to integrate Beam technology so that you can play with whoever's nearby. So we're going to show you um, how to do that right now. Andrew is going to bust out his Galaxy phone, and we are going to... Right, let's take a look. So. so, can you hold these up to the camera just a bit so we can see sure. what the experience is like? So, if I'm joined to a table, or if I'm simply watching a game, and I have a friend nearby with a, who also has a Beam-enabled device, I can, if all goes correctly, place the rear of my device oh, yeah. against okay. this. So and then touch to I beam touch there to beam. The screen. Yep. So and turn that to the game, camera there. My game's starting up. So now you're joining the same game that Andrew's and then, in right now. Yep. And now we're joined. And I can spectate or I can play. So I just chose to spectate while I watch uh, Andrew over here. Ooh. <laughs> Race. <laughs> Who's a better a player hand. here? I have to, I think, oh yeah? I think Jenna okay. has a bigger stack than me right now, but I'm going <laughs> to take this one. All right, well, yeah. anything else you guys wanted to mention while you're Yeah, so just, um, we wanted to show you a little bit um, on this new Nexus 7 tablet. So some of the things that we've done that we think are great on the device are we've really, we've tried to implement fragments and really take advantage of the tablet device. It's such a beautiful screen and we love it. So um, a couple of the things, so where we would normally have multiple screens that you would go to, we've actually implemented fragments here so that you can see in a drop down some of the other screens that you would have to jump around and navigate. So we think that, um, really being able to take advantage of the high density screen and the mobility of this form factor is, is really going to be great for game players and poker players. So Very cool. Well, I can't wait to check it out. I've got to yeah. get my hands on one of these Nexus 7s Yeah, at we want to see you at a table soon. Yes, absolutely. Get some tip, tips from you. <laughs> yes, and I'll take some tips from Andrew. All right, Jen and Andrew from Thank Zynga. You. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. All right, I'm going to head off to the next one. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. All right. On our third stop of this trifecta at Google TV, we're joined by Ken from iHeartRadio. Now, iHeartRadio, as a lot of folks will know, has been around for a while, but as an app for Google TV, it's only been about a month. Mm -hmm. How, or is it different, 
than what people are used to and, and sort of walk me through some of the different features. All right, so first of all, is it really exciting to get to work on a brand new platform like Google TV. And we have so much screen real estate to take advantage of to really display our content in new and interesting ways. Uh, so we still have access to all of our great radio stations and custom radio and we're just going to display it in a really visually, visual and interesting way. Right, I see more pictures here. Of course, you just as you say, you have more real estate to, to display all that stuff. Now, walk me through some of the buttons that we can see on the left there um, and, and how people can interact with it using the remote. All right, we divided everything into find, create, and search. And find lets you go and, and find live stations near you or live stations by a genre. Create lets you create your own custom radio stations by just typing in an artist or a song, and it will choose other songs that are like that song and to play that. Search, you can search for anything, and it'll find all the content in our library for it. And, and how many live stations are out there these days? So we have over 1,000 live stations, and we have custom stations that can be made from over 400,000 artists or over 10 million songs. Okay, cool. Well, give us a demonstration of what it's like to uh, listen to a song here on Google TV. Right. So I can just go over to my Nile playing section and hit play. I'll play that guy, okay. and it'll just start playing songs, and you have this gorgeous album art display, and it'll show you what, what radio station you're listening to, and you know, just great to leave up on the TV. All right, so we're only going to play about 10 or 15 seconds just for rights purposes, but of course, if you were at home, the comfort of your couch, you can listen to whatever you want to, or during a party, or however you want to display it. Tell, tell me a little bit about that development process for Google TV, what it was like. You're on the development team yourself. Yes. And I know it happened in a fairly short amount of time. Yes, so we decided to build this as an HTML5 web application, and it wound up in the Google TV spotlight that showcases web applications that are optimized for Google TV. And by choosing HTML5 as our technology, we were able to build this application with a team of only three people in just one month, and really come up with the best user experience by iterating quickly. Any uh, advice for other uh, development teams out there looking at Google TV, whether they have an existing app already or they're looking to sort of maximize it for this experience? And I know earlier we talked about that real estate and just thinking about that versus maybe a smaller screen. Hey, you definitely want to customize your app for the TV experience. And if you really focus on that and don't be afraid to push the envelopes, you can come up with a really awesome app. Were you guys testing it out on a TV this size? I mean, is this sort of the, the ideal sort of a, a, a place for you to, to test out something like this? Well, we started designing for a TV this size, but one of the challenges of building the interface was making sure that it works for smaller TVs. So we designed an interface that's, uh, that's easy to use at a large size like this and looks great, but it's also just as functional on a smaller size. And in terms of you know, sharing your, your choices or something like that, sort of social element yep. to it, how, how is that part of this Google TV app? The social is deeply integrated into iHeartRadio. We have the ability to share what you're listening to to Facebook and invite other people to, to uh, try custom stations that you've created. Very cool. Anything? Any, any, can you tell me what's coming down the pike with, uh, with this? Anything you're looking at as sort of a roadmap for the future? Well, we're looking to just really build out this now playing, this now playing screen by showing information about artists from, from Twitter or any other real-time information that we have just to make this now playing experience as awesome as possible, as well as just rolling out new stations and new features on our, uh, that are available on our other platforms. Very cool. So take me back to that main screen if you can. I just want to... And that me, what's that down there? Is that a profile of your own So this preferences? shows you all of the stations that you've created and all of the songs that you've liked. So I can go in and see the stations that I've created and very quickly jump back into those stations and start playing them. Oh, so it's like your own personal history yeah. sort of thing. And this persists across all of our platforms. You can, so you can start listening to a station on your Android device and then pick it up here and just go right back. It'll be right at the top and you can start playing again. Oh, that's a great point. So, that, so if you're an iHeartRadio user, and you start listening to something on a TV or you've created your preferences, you can pick it up later on another Android Absolutely. device. Absolutely. That's very cool. Well, Ken, thank you so much for this display. I feel like, or demonstration, I feel like something should play us out. <laughs> can you choose, what's your like favorite song right. here, let's, favorite let's artist? Let's play this. All right. Nice. 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 All right, Ken, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of uh, Google I.O. All right, that's going to do it from here at Google TV. But stay tuned in a TV sense for the rest of IO Live.